This episode of All Seeing Guys is brought to you by Studio Headphones. Get to the point. Studio, <laughs> of course, you want to revolutionize the way people see headphones, not just as a tech device, but as an accessory. Currently in the market, headphones are either tech or fashionable. There's not a great combination there's, of there's both. There's no in-between. Whereas Studio want to combine the two and give you great quality sound and also stylish headphone. And as we mentioned previously, unlike other headphones, you can, into, you can change the caps on the side. Now, you mentioned this before. I've been following them on Instagram. Yeah. And people send in lots of pictures of their customized headphones. Oh, really? Yes, and actually it's a really nice marble effect one that I'm quite keen on. I, I, I do believe I've mentioned the marble yes, in the past. Yes, it looks really nice. Yeah, it not, does. Yeah, sexy. Like, say, they're very sexy. You can look sexy while you listen to music. How awesome is that? Yeah. I want to look sexy while I'm out. I want to well. go out, dress nicely, and I want my studio headphones to complete my outfit. Oh, my God. You could totally get them to match your kicks. Exactly. That'd be fucking great. That'd be absolute, I'd be well on board with that. This is obviously a limited offer that is running out soon. So by all means, go over to their website and use a discount code, all caps to all seeing, which will give you 15% off any purchase. We've, recent, we, we've recently mentioned that we have the Regent pair, which is their premium on-ear model. I've been using them. And for you've been using them. And weeks. we, Chris from Earth Tide had a listen of them recently. And Chris yeah. knows his sound that he was very keen on them. And something he mentioned, he, which... Uh, it blocked out all, it blocked blocks out everything out but the, the music. Sound. Yeah. yeah. So as this episode will t- mention, when I do the marathon, I wasn't allowed to listen to headphones on the run because we run on main roads. Mm. And I really missed having headphones. I mean, I hated it. I've not run about headphones. And I'd nah. run 26 miles without headphones. Studio headphones. 26 miles with your thoughts. <laughs> yeah, with my thoughts alone in my head. Studio headphones. These would have been great for my run because yeah. if I was allowed to have worn headphones on it, it would have blocked out the sound. It, it would have been dangerous when I run on ro- when nah, I run on roads. But, but I, I would just would have been in the fucking zone and fucking off. Yeah, because I, I, when I when I go for a run, I like to be cut off out of it. Yeah, and just fucking focused on what I'm listening to and just fucking. It's like a distraction. Distraction, yeah. And then like, oh, I've, oh, I've run fucking ten miles. Great, I can go home now. It's never usually that simple, but no, no, no. you get what I'm saying. So it all means to get over to their website. The all seeing all caps, fifteen percent off your first order. And also Thoroughly, do if free are, worldwide shipping. Exactly. Look, just like we're not telling everyone to go out. Like, if look, if if your situation is, fuck, my headphones are broken, or fuck, I need a new pair of headphones. Check these out. Yeah. Why the fuck not? I'm not forcing you to buy them, but if you're in the situation where you might need new headphones, go and give them a little bit of an in. Like, go a look at their website for themselves. It's a really nice website. It speaks fucking volumes yeah. about their product. Don't be a prick. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, on with the show. The All Seeing Guys podcast is part of Britpod Scene, an independent network of uniquely British podcasts that's always growing. Check out BritpodScene.com or follow Britpod Scene on Twitter to find out more. Just sound check. Just thinking about it. Um, yes. Do you ever like see like celebrities that you grew up like when you were a kid? You were just like, oh fucking yes, like your, your celebrity crush over, yeah, and yeah. you see them now, and you're just like, oh, I've had a wank over you. What happened? Um. Uh. No, I don't think so. I don't know. Just let it go. I don't know who. Just let it slide. Yeah. I can't really think of anyone. I've consistently masturbated since 1997 over Kate Winslet. Really? Not yeah. consistently like every day. I might have pulled a that Winslet. That sounds weird. I've definitely pulled a Winslet. I might have pulled a Winslet I've a couple absolutely... of times. Absolutely... I had this weird thing when Titanic came out. I've never said this out loud before. So I'm really, <laughs> I I'm, love it. I, I'm fu- I love I'm, it when I'm, you start I, a I, sentence I, like I'm that. I'm fully aware of how stupid it sounds, what I'm about to say. Yes. It's in the same vein as that story I told where I didn't like throwing rubbish away when I was away from my home. Because <laughs> yeah, it would yeah, be yeah. too far from home. I'd be worried I wouldn't throw a Mars bar away in Hastings. if Because it wouldn't be near its home. Because it wouldn't be near its home in Cheson. <laughs> um in my house. It's that sort of story. Yeah. And it was, um, I'd watched Titanic and I had this weird thing where like, I was like, oh man, Kate Wins- Winslet doesn't even know I'm a human being or I exist. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and it really got, got to me, man. Like, oh, it, it just dawned on me. I was just like, man, just don't, don't, that's the thing. That's, that's the whole thing about celebrity like, crushes. I had a big thing about Baby thing. Spice because not because oh, she dressed classic, up like an infant. Classic, classic. Um, I just remember distinctly having a dream one day that she was in, and then after that, I was in love with her. <laughs> and um, that's how it works usually. It's pretty much yeah. And I, uh, I just distinctly remember just like, oh, she's never gonna, she's never gonna know about me. <laughs> Why am I even trying? I'd like question it in my head. Like, well, you know, she knows England exists and you're in England. So she does know you exist. Like I was going deep with it, man. It was weird. And then you realize that she's English and you've really got a shot. That's it. It's like, that's my, that's my key. That's That's my ticket in. That's my golden ticket. Yeah, that's weird, actually. Yeah. Welcome to the... That rum's good. Oh, I like it. Tasty. 
juice in the red cup. Don't give a fuck. Dirty fries. Coming one side. We'll see you guys. Welcome to episode 7 9. Widely I don't, is it, widely is it 79 or is it 80 now? No, it is 79. It's 79. It's 79 episodes. We're right on the, the clasp of the right word of 80. Being We're hitting. With, this is the this is the home stretch, people. And eighty, man, that's crazy. That's nuts, isn't it? How long would it take for us to do eighty episodes if we released it every two weeks on time? Exactly. We never failed. Every two weeks, of every fail Tuesday for, for two three, weeks for three years. How? Oh, well, that's how. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it would take three I was years. Like, I know exactly where he's going with this. <laughs> I was like, it would take three right. years. I'm it just told him. It did take three years. Yes, it took three years for us to get to this point. What Greg's trying to say is, we have been doing this officially for now three years. Which would have be been June the second, because June the first now. Greg, what do you have to say to the people still listening? Hello, hello. <laughs> Thanks really, for sticking we'll around. Guys. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, it generally means a lot. And I do see consistent numbers. So I know people have been with us for yeah. this stupid amount of time. I think I would say, yeah, I think I'd say thank you for the people that uh, are listening to this as their first episode, and the people hello. that have been listening. Since you picked episode, episode one to start with. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think. But, also, you know what? Thanks to people. This, you know, it's just thank you to people that just come up to us. Yeah, in, I'm not saying that to be a dickhead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but like, I've what, had what? people come up to me in the pub and just be like, "Oh, you're the, like, you do that podcast." I was just like, "Oh, okay, you listen." I didn't realize <laughs> which one are you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> are you it's the like, one with the kid? That is literally <laughs> what's been said previously. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that is been that has been said. What the one with the kid? And it's like, no, 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 that's the other one. That's the other one. That's the other one. I'm the one without a kid. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, I think my favorite." Uh, I, I think my favourite interaction with people that have listened to the podcast was always Andy Mack from... Uh, oh, right. Which one are you? Yeah, it's just like, uh, which one are you? <laughs> yeah, straight, straight to the fucking point. It's like, Joe, ah, oh, I was hoping it was you. So we're saying basically now this is three years of podcasting, but we're not going to go celebrating three years just there because we have already realised today that it had been three years. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we have a little, got a little episode, reminder on we, Facebook, yeah, 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 we've got a new episode prepped here. So next I start, next, You know what? I, I was given hints by mine because I put up the original drawing that I did of us, the, the, the original cartoon drawing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would have been uh, like that a popped year up. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been like a year ago, the, the, the second phase of the artwork. That was it, yeah. But wait, next episode, we're going to go in on like three years of podcasting, have a bit of a, as you can tell, we're already getting in the spirit of getting uh, mashed up for that episode. So yep. that should be a lot of fun. But this episode is actually also quite a special episode. It is. Because Joe, we went on a fucking holiday, didn't we? We went on well, holiday. Well, I say holiday, you went on holiday. <laughs> I went on holiday, you went on an endurance I went on a marathon. Yeah, we went to, uh, yeah, we went to Lake Windermere. As uh, previously mentioned, of course, I was running the marathon in Lake Windermere, Lake District. So I don't know why we're saying like like we like we've kept it a secret like we've literally put out artwork yeah no yeah we so. talked to me we talked about it like um but yeah we went to let wind it was myself joe lizzie indiana ed and sarah so yeah. it was a good crew can yeah. i just say that you just put me before your wife i know <laughs> <laughs> but it's, you know it's all seeing guys with Greg and joe. <laughs> i thought it would have been a bit insulting if i dropped you down and then this is your show joe i would have understood i wasn't gonna drop you down a peg on your own show I'm not nah, like fine, not like in your own home nonetheless don't worry yeah, how insulting could i be fighting around here says me second <laughs> <laughs> no of course not joe it's <laughs> all seeing guys love uh, you it was quite an awesome little group man like oh. first time we've all got away together genuinely was like a really like nice grown-up thing to fucking do and it's weird because you wouldn't think of the Lake District as somewhere to go. Like, if I wasn't running the marathon and we were just like, let's go away, yeah. I can't imagine us even like, considering why? Lake District. Yeah. Because it's too far. You know, absolutely. Like, you know, and it's like, there's no reason to go. We wouldn't even consider it. I'd scared we would end up going to York or somewhere. Yeah. Like, but it just to happen because that's where I was running that we all decided to go, go down. That we came across this awesome fucking I, place. You know what? I distinctly remember. It shows our age. Oh, uh, like this, this I great dis- little getaway. I distinctly <laughs> remember, like when we, I think we were all in the wagon and horses in Surbiton. Yeah, and um, we were all out for lunch or whatever. And I'd gone away to have a piss or a shit or a cigarette or whatever. Maybe it was three. <laughs> who knows? Um, Pick A, B, C, or other. Please explain. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I came back and then all of a sudden it was just like, oh, we're going to Windermere. And it was just like. 
Oh. What, now? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you're saying that. Yeah. I can confirm <laughs> you need to say that. that. But um, yeah, no, it was it was such a cool idea. I think, I, as you said, we wouldn't have gone there if there wasn't like a motive. No, of course not. I 100%. Right. Yeah. I mean, Why the fuck? But then like, I th- we definitely came back with an absolute appreciation for oh, it. Oh, yeah. It was great. And it definitely the gorgeous fucking weather helped. <laughs> It was, we were fucking blessed for apparently a place that rains 200 days yeah. a year. Yeah, glorious fucking weather. It was yeah. insanely fucking It was hot. really, really fucking blessed. Before we start getting deep on our time in Lake Windermere, yeah. we are going to get some geese dropping, and I actually picked up some geese droppings from Lake Windermere. Let's do the Lake Windermere Can ones, you believe I'll, it? I'll, I'll save the ones I've got for a future episode. I'm, I'm glad the listeners know you said that. Yeah. So there you go, our listeners. Next episode, Joe's going to have some geese droppings. But for now, it is geese droppings from Lake Windermere. And geese dropping, of course, it's overheard snippets of conversation. I don't know if that made sense or not. Geese in Windermere. Dropping. That's the reason we broke up. Not because I'm a psycho. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you were going to do the accent. <laughs> I, didn't, well, I didn't hear it said. You and Lizzie heard it. I was just next to you and heard you both reacting. <laughs> we were it actually, so we were actually in the, at Lake Windmill, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were I think that was the, yeah. uh, it was the day Bowness after we were taking a walk. It was called, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Monday. So funny. I, and I didn't hear it. Not because I'm you, a psycho. I don't know if you can shed any light on this because I heard you guys react to it. No, nah, that's that's literally all we heard from what it. What accent did they have? It was it was kind of like a a, a Preston right, kind of sort of that, okay. that kind of area. Right, I'm with you. Okay. Psycho. Psycho. All right, I'm with you. <laughs> was she on the phone or was she talking to her boyfriend? She was literally st- like with a like a, a female friend that was right. like just apparently talking about right. Up. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, well, the next ski's dropping. I heard actually moments later <laughs> in the same place. We stopped, you guys sat down and had a cigarette, and I wandered off, and I went into that gift shop on my own. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. There was those two women with that little dog. They had, like, three dogs. Yeah, and they came in the shop while I was in there, and they went, these dogs went fucking mental. Yeah. Like, they were going... Ins- Mate, it's a, they, it's a room full of trinkets. They, they were yapping so much, or so echoey, and they walked around to kind of get away from one, and came towards me, and they went mental at me. Mate, I remember God. one was in a bag. Man, they went mental at me, these dogs, so they would not calm down. I was like, oh, fuck, they do not like me. Nah. Anyway, they went up to the counter while these dogs are kicking off, and I just heard one of them say to the woman there... Just sell any little gadgets <laughs> for gifts. <laughs> for gifts. And the like woman, a Tamagotchi. The woman was like, I don't know what you mean. Like, what, pencil fucking yeah. sharpener? Like, like a laser pointer? Do you sell any little gadgets for what gifts? Gadgets? Mate, honestly, this, the biggest selling point of this gift shop was the fact they had an entire section for cashmere sweaters. And gollywogs. Like, the, no, there weren't gollywogs <laughs> in this one. There weren't gollywogs in this the one. The abundance, can I just say, the abundance of gollywogs. That were in there. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that I, phrase. I got in trouble in the shop. They caught me taking a picture of them. It, like they caught me taking like, a picture uh, of the gollywogs in the basket. And she um, was like, oh, no, look, pointing at the sign. That but, was like, no phones, no photos. It's just like, we don't want our racism posted yeah. everywhere. That's the only shop that told me off for doing it. But that's the only one that had gollywogs. And not us taking photos but, in every shop we went to. Like, I think, again, are we, are we genuinely allowed to say that phrase? I think you can. In the, in the, content, in the context we're using it, I yeah. think it's okay. Because that's what they're called. Yeah. And it's not very nice. And that's what it is. Right. I don't know what you want me to say, like, you know, black the, dolls. Well, I feel Offensive like if we said dolls, the marmalade, man, marmalade it would be man. fucking worse. Well, that would There's be something worse. worse about marmalade, there is, man. There is, there is, there is very worse, Because then that brings Paddington Bear yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, it does, like, and then we get into a whole new fucking world. Fucking, we're in a uh, You know what, I should probably madness. move on to next ski shopping before we start falling down this tunnel. No, it's a definite idea. Yeah, the hell let's do that. Let's about. move on from that. This next ski shop I have, which is the last one, I heard this in the Iron... What was it oh, Eagle and the Child? Oh called? yeah, yeah, yeah. The, really nice was, pub. It was the really uh, creepy name. It was the only pub in the in the little town that we were staying. Yeah, in. really nice pub. We Fucking really great really food. nice beer garden. Yeah, food really was good. amazing. But like it was, you know, it was called the Eagle. There and was the Child, a stream. Which I thought it was a weird choice for a name. Yeah, Eagle. But we and were Child. sat at the table. There was apparent, wasn't there like a, an explanation outside? There was. Yeah, I can't remember it. Some sort of fucking story about a woman and an eagle. We had a Making child, love, brought a child to them because the king couldn't have whatever. Anyway, what? Yeah, there was some story about the king and his missus couldn't give birth to a boy. What the fuck was, goes on up north? It was all women, so the eagle bought him a boy or something, or maybe a sex of an eagle. Something happened. I don't quite know what. You know what? You know what? I've only just realised as well. Like that is. I mean, I know. Like it wasn't the direct fucking like 
direction, but that's the closest we've been to Gaz and Sam from Open All Powers. Oh, well, we, we, we drive right through, didn't we? We drove we right drove through. We drove right through. 100 we did. So the last geese dropping I have is what I heard in this pub. And we were sat at the table chatting, and there was a table next to us, two guys who showed up pretty soon after we got there. Yeah. And I just heard one of them say to him, who obviously is moaning about marriage, I just heard him say, yes, well, we both had an affair simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> And the guy went, oh, <laughs> that's oh. all I heard. I was like, fuck, I can't hear anymore. Fuck. <laughs> Madness. The food arrived then, so I was like, oh, the food. fuck? But that was a weird thing to hear. The guy, you both, we, we both had a fair simultaneously. Wow, was it a Why challenge? Why the fuck are you still married? I, well, I don't know. I think he was talking about his divorce, is what I believe was what was happening. I don't understand it. But what do I know? I'm just a simple fuck. I'm boy. just a person that stands aside and listens from afar, and then I talk about it on a podcast that's popular with people so as mentioned we of course from the late district for the ski jumps i heard and we encountered many weird wonderful things we did see a pedro's in a similar font and oh, let's talk about fucking I pedro's put a picture up being like cheeky pedro's pedro's so apparently nando's doesn't exist it's on the facebook page go have a look there's a picture of it i didn't see it now i mean it was like in a really weak i saw two of them it was they both look very different though yeah but they were both the same font <laughs> like, didn't say that we're writing. gonna go back and still because it was uh because it was the pedro's R. we're gonna go back and steal the r yeah because the r looked like like every R in every font, like Ever. in restaurant, that's a Nando's ripoff there was. Like, yeah. it's looked like. I thought it was because then it would spell pedos. Yeah, well, it was pretty fucking close, wasn't it? <laughs> like, like, and it was it was like a Mexican place. I looked in the menu going past, I swear it was. I wonder what the most inappropriate name you could think of for uh, a restaurant would be. S- oh, there's. I'm the- thinking like pedos is up there. Well, yeah, well, that's like. Like but it's all, all it is, is crazy, just pee. crazy. It's a vegetarian like restaurant shoes. that sells that sells just it's just it's just peas pea dishes and dough. Yeah, peas in dough. Peas for dough. Do you want to go pedos? We sell peas <laughs> for dough or dough like play dough. Just play dough. We we sell peas made out of play dough. Yeah, pedos. No, this doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work, Joe. It doesn't it work. It doesn't work. It's it's like you've seen. Why would you pea. say that? It's like you've had a really nice meal. You know, you're like, oh, that chicken though. And you're just like, man, <laughs> those peas that though. Peas, those, <laughs> like, those peas though. <laughs> those peas though. It's very. That's good. I like that. We're getting massively sidetracked. I keep about. doing. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to stick to the subject, but I keep having these weird fucking thoughts. Um, but yes, Windermere was awesome. We had a great fun time, and we actually took the Zoom mic with us. Yes, we had uh, we did a, a little bit of time. We had a lovely garden in our oh, uh, Airbnb a garden. That was man, that cottage, the whole house was awesome. Yeah, that whole house was so fucking perfect. I really enjoyed like when it was when it got really dark and we all just went into like the living room watch yeah, TV. Yeah. I felt like I was in an episode of Royal Family. Yeah, 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 it was great. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was, was just, all just sat around. It was definitely like that. Actually, in fact, on the on the last night we were there. Um, you and me were sat in there and then I think Ed had gone to bed because he was driving the next day and then yeah. it was Sarah and Lizzie had come in. And uh, we we found an interesting te- television show. We did watch an interesting television show. It was like a documentary on Channel 5 that turned out to be a series. It was... It was the the particular episode that we had watched was about um, porn star performers and like porn stars in films, porn stars yeah, on like webcams. breaking like breaking out to the. It big was like time. four four different people they were yeah. following around. The great there was one there's one bit in it where I realised that there was at least one scene of every single person making or eating yeah. like their meal. And just yeah, like yeah, yeah. I'm a normal person. Yeah, I eat. Yes, I don't just eat. I sperm. put food on plates and eat it. <laughs> I can make dinner just like you. Yeah, look at me go. It was so, it's so Look bizarre. at this sandwich. But um, it was quite, I mean, we started watching it and it was one person and it all seemed fairly normal, just like a, a female porn star yeah. or whatever. And then it went to a man. This guy who, and I'm just going to go ahead and say this here because. <laughs> There's no way to, but you can't that, sugarcoat he, it. He, he was really into. Just he, lube up and go re- right in. Really Greg. into extreme ass play. He, like he, extreme. His words, I have nothing against his fucking ass play. Words. Fucking more the merrier. Get in there. Yeah. But. It was like extreme ass play. Then he got out his more massive, the merrier. Yeah. Then he, then, he, then, <laughs> then he got out his massive dildo collection, and it was like the size it of was, my that head. Was, so the whole sort of thing was like a talking head with him. Wow. Sat down, and it was just he like, wasn't giving head. No, he was. It was just I mean, him, but being point. interviewed, and it was just sort of it was it was all about you know oh you know, I do this all this performance and stuff like that, and he's just like but I've got this real like passion for extreme anal fisting and or extreme like yeah just extreme ass play and then it then it cuts to him in his bedroom pulling out a drawer from under his bed yeah. and the size of these toys i the i i'm looking at like it like an right, elephant's fucking leg it like a fucking leg like it was uh, <laughs> you know so leg. a pepsi bottle a, like a two liter bottle yeah. of pepsi that but with like rubber 
just <laughs> like and studs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was or pretty... like grooves or things to make it feel slightly better. Yeah, he, I think um, we we winced every time it cut back to him. There was definitely a scene where he met the guy who was going to be fisting in the video, so, and he was just like, "So how deep can you go?" He's like, I, "I'm more about this," and put his hand through like a circle in his other hand up to his elbow. Yeah, he says, "How deep am I getting you?" Well, it turned out pretty far because he like ruptured his fucking rectum, didn't he? Unfortunately, there was a scene on remember, on a set. Uh, mate, the adverts were on, and Sarah and Liz came in. Oh god, and they, yeah, and, and Indiana was asleep on the sofa. And they sat down and they, and they were just chatting because the adverts were on. Yeah. And the show came back on. And it came up with a warning being warning. This for the, the this portion of the show <laughs> contains extreme ass fist, fisting yeah. and, and a ruptured rectum. Yeah. And then they were like, what the fuck are you watching? Yeah. <laughs> and then it cut straight your, away. Mate, your, it was your nonchalant fucking response of just like, documentary about ass fisting. <laughs> and they were just like, all right, go on then. Let's see what this is about. And, well, it was a. Well, it, it was exactly what it did. You know what the th- the most and it cut straight no, into it. The fucked up thing about it was like I remember things like that being on when I was a bit younger, yeah, like yeah. when I was like eighteen or something like. That. I remember that shit being on television, yeah. and it was heavily, heavily blurred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they blurred about a third of a woman's fucking vagina. <laughs> there was one bit where someone was being interviewed. He was a cameraman being interviewed, yeah, yeah. and in the background, you could literally see this guy's shaft and balls yeah, yeah, just yeah. going in you and out. You don't have to blur up penises. and down. Really? No. Interesting. Or do you? I don't know. It works. It's a modern time. It's, it's madness. I could get mine out right now. I don't think it'd be blurred. It might be. Maybe. Test the theory. Pixelated. So imagine it was. I, uh, It'd be weird, wouldn't it? I, uh, I found a, a tool on my phone that allows me to pixelate <laughs> things, so I, I did it with my dick. Right, that was fun. Yeah, it was but great. that was fun. Where, where's if you put it on social media? Why would I do that? Because it's a weird decision. And I'm it's in the a mood definite for, weird I'm decision in the mood for weird decision making. I'm, that's great. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not in the mood for you making weird decisions about what I do with my pixelated penis. So we've got massive side chat. Of course, we have. Um, we took the mic with us to Lake Windy yes. and we podcasted while we were there. Insane. How crazy is that? What a kooky couple of guys we are. We spoke. We um, have. A, we don't take days off. We we had a pre marathon discussion and post-marathon discussion a little bit what happened in between and of course we had joined with you myself yeah ed was there ed, um on Lizzie, the sidelines so but this clip here is the first clip where we're actually all together yeah sat in the garden it would have been the saturday, Sun was saturday, going saturday down. night someone was going down we were just chilling out i think indiana might have been a seeping bed i can't remember Lizzie what had did we or eat not. that night was uh, that barbecue that was good the night before the run so it was barbecue night because that was that was the danger. Because we did like we I was fucked up cooking. I, I was scared in case I was gonna have the shit, so I didn't. I think we were all scared that we were yeah, gonna yeah, have the shit. Yeah. And I was like, I can't have this. And the, the, I was fine though. I was fine. You were all right. You were doing a run. People shit themselves. We were standing on the well, side. If I, we were to stand there shitting our pants, I still wouldn't want to shit myself. No, none of us It'll want be to. Everywhere. Um, we want to. We want that to be our decision. Well, we sat down. All diarrhea is a lot like rape. Yes, if you it think is. about it. it well, <laughs> uh, well, that's. A, I, I'm struggling to see it. Diarrhea doesn't go into me. I'll, you know, I'll explain that in another episode. Against my will. Um, Against my will. <laughs> weird, wouldn't it? You don't, don't want it to happen, but it's going to happen is the point I was so, making. <laughs> weird as my, this is the first conversation we had. This is all of us in the garden. And this is a bit of the, the, this is the introductory, pretty much we've just done the last 20 minutes, where we are, why we're there and what's going on. Yeah, this is supposed so, to be like a 10 minute intro. I'm yeah, so sorry. Yes, this was supposed to be really quick. And we've got massive sidetrack talking about all sorts of shenanigans going Shena- on. Shenanigans. Right, we set us off then as well. So join us in Lake Windermere. So yes, here we are having a little comment. This is, this is, the the audio is the, the worst than this one, but it's still pretty good. It's not, it's not, it's not you'll be fine. It's not yeah. too windy. We're just drunk in a go. I'm not judge drunk. Us, I, I'm, I'm, I'm completely sober, actually. You guys have been drinking. Lizzie, I, was, I don't know, yeah, but I, was, I, I, I sober. went on it. Anyways, here we are. Conversation in the garden, night before the marathon. Greg, Joe, Lizzie, Ed, Sarah, Hello. maybe Indiana. So I'm not sure the mic's picking this up, but there's definitely a lot of cows and sheep there's happening in the of, background. There's a lot of cow and sheep action. We just watched an awesome cow fight happening <laughs> over over the hills. <laughs> well, it was a fight. It was like cow, the cows were fighting. They were fighting. They, they, they were fighting. They were like the cow version of gay pride. So there was one cow trying to mount another cow, and then these other cows came over and gave him a bit of what for him. Yeah, and then what there was a bit, bit of head butting, and then he went back to mounting. There was a lot going on. A lot of room in there. So we are down. currently residing in uh, Lake. Uh, we're Stavely. We're in Stavely. Stavely. We're in the Lake town of Stavely. Lake Stavely. Things I've noticed in the in the we've taken the podcast on tour in, in the Lake District side of England. We've decided to start in Stavely. I noticed. <laughs> I, I saw an old gentleman near here with a barnic arm today. That was fucking amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't see that. 
bionic heart. A bionic, a bionic bonnet. <laughs> <How old? laughs> bionic bonnet. <laughs> Well, so it's like a technical wig. It opens up and a <laughs> fucking missile comes out. Of it. Right, it's like it's all in a man's No, no, it's no, no, it's not. It's, um, it's like it's Inspector, Inspector Gadget's hat. Like, <laughs> when is that going to happen? Where people do like a fucking a hairdo that they can keep their pet in when they're walking around? They got a dog in a hairdo. When, when are they going <laughs> to do that? I didn't know that was in demand. Like some sort of total <laughs> recall. Like when head, oh when will my demands be met? When or when are they going to make hairstyles you can carry your pets in? When? In like a total recall vegan universe, that would happen. <laughs> I'm imagining like you know like the total vegan like the basket yeah. people people put their dogs in and they ride their bikes. Sentence I've ever heard. <laughs> when when are people going to start having haircuts that you can carry your pets around? In? Just listen to that as a sentence. That's insane. It could also be a phrase. It could all, yeah. T-shirt, mate. You won't see that on catchphrase. No. I ain't got the lighter. So, yes, as Joe mentioned, we are in Lake Windermere, out, out in the... No, I said Stavely. Oh, in Stavely. We did venture to Lake Windermere today. We had a little trek Why are we here, up Greg? the hill. We're here because I'm uh, stupidly running the marathon tomorrow. Not stupidly. Marathon. It's quite an achievement. I think you'll find. No, uh, it's stupid. It's <laughs> not an achievement. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> take that back. It's not it's, an achievement until you've done it. Yeah, it's not an achievement until I've done it. <laughs> So a nice right shiny a medal idea. at the end of it and a <laughs> bit of tin foil and a beer. If I didn't run it, if I if I just woke up tomorrow and was like, no, I'm too scared, I'm not doing it. it would, this trip will just be like, fuck him, that, that awesome time Ed drove all the way to the I think, like, no, I think like, the funny thing is, though, I, 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 I kind of almost don't understand the scare bit because it's just like, well, if I can complete it, it's just like, all right, I'll just, I'm completed it. Like, yeah, fair no, enough, like, I, I'd hate myself. Really? Oh, <laughs> Probably. man, that sucks. I'd just be like, no, I've quit a lot of things. It's fine. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't bear the thought of going home and telling everyone I didn't finish. No, How'd you do? Ah, I bailed out after well, a couple of miles. Be like, what's it? Uh, yeah, we'll keep your secret. Yeah, so, what was your number? They'll see it. They'll see it on my running app. Right, <laughs> Don't post it on Instagram. It. They don't know what no, I'm seeing. Yeah. <laughs> see it on my running app. But it was, um, it was who was it that ran the marathon? In, oh, Katie Price. She? When she she ran the London marathon, but she dropped out like. Yeah, she does. Because everyone found out that Katie Price was running about 48 hours prior. I I think think that's when she found out that she was running the marathon. She she ran up, she shut up to the marathon. That's when she realised Harvey was grabbing her leg. (laughs) 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 I don't think she got like 10k in. I don't think she got very far in at all. Before she was like, no. What sort of thing? Like six, seven miles. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I did a bit of running the other day for the bus. Did yeah. you? I did, yeah. Really, like, yeah, just only for the bus. So, like, I was. Yeah. And how did you come? I got the bus, so that was really that was, really that was not too bad. Hill? Didn't enjoy any of it. Uh, no, in all honesty. Um, so I'm doing, I, I won't be running as a, you know as furiously for a bus the whole time. No, I guess yeah, no. It's, I guess it's a short sort of achievement. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's a the, guy that put the, bu- the bus. as you as you beep your card, the guy hands puts a medal around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> you completed the bus challenge. And I do the black power fist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, freeze frame in the air. <laughs> Can I just mention your excellent microphone holder there, Greg? I mean, you can't see this, uh, listeners, but I have this Zoom mic in the garden here, and I didn't have the holder, and I was like, if you touch it, it makes too much noise. So I've put a hole in a box of digestive fins, and I've placed the mic in the hole of the box. That's digestive thins, yes. dark chocolate digestive <laughs> fins, <laughs> McVitie's, McVitie's. <laughs> Greg, how are you feeling? Running Dan, for 20, how, how, how are you? How are you, six miles. How, are you miles. how are you feeling about this this uh, this run? Uh, I'm 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 both nervous and excited. Yeah, yeah, that's a good. Uh, I'm nervous that's and good excited. Balance. That's enough to give. The I'm only nervous pumping. in the sense of I don't really. I don't know. Like I don't know how I'm going to be. Like two miles have in. Got, uh, have you got a motivational song of choice? No. Uh, too unlimited. I can recommend. Oh yeah, no, no you limit. Yeah. Some music. That, work that out, yeah. I no don't limit. know. I'll find out. Tomorrow. It's very it's very rare for full marathons that don't really listen to music or have headphones. On one of the stops, can I have that microphone and run along and interview you? <laughs> like a fucking sports presenter. Absolutely, take the mic with you yeah, guys. Take the mic That's a great idea. I'll put That's it in my bag. That's a brilliant idea. Great, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if they try and get a McVitie, they, they've disappointed Yeah, it's a mic. Just interview kids and just start creeping <laughs> people out. Can I just be... Or just oh, interview kids. McVitie. And just be like, just, just talk into this. Talking, no, just talking <laughs> in the microphone. That feels nice and natural, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not just going to stand around interviewing kids. 
<laughs> coming through, coming through. I've got a microphone. Let me through, let me through. Interviewing, interviewing please. Just hold out. The banner, yeah. like no, we are going to... Just hold yeah, this up. Think, which we were thinking it's, just well, hold Greg, up the mic Greg's sticking out the digestive box. Like, Greg had a great idea. Of, I said in the group chat that should we make signs, and he said, can you make like... <laughs> demonstration signs that you've turned up to like the wrong protest or something and you've turned up to like Pop an Trump. anti-abortion like sort of protest <laughs> but you're actually just at a, a marathon in Windermere yeah. just f- just fuck Greg <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> down with Greg I hate running <laughs> <laughs> you're all idiots <laughs> I need to remember to take Did 20p you, um, tomorrow. Apparently it costs 20p to use the to lose along the route. I've got loads of trains. Did and I'm you, sure um, I would need some sort of poo. You didn't fancy doing the, the London one, did you? Because it was a lot of this It was. I bullshit. wouldn't train. Plus, it's, it's not that easy. So it's, you can get into it quite easy if you just picked when you apply for it. But, like, I prefer just to sign up for the ones I know I can just go do. Yeah. <laughs> just for, like, no, just, like, yeah, for yeah. a personal achievement. Yeah. yeah. Maybe one day. Although, saying that, I actually don't really want to do another full marathon. I haven't done this one yet. Mm. Just got don't really have, don't really have time to train, so I'm kind of behind in my training for this one. I can't wait until we sit down tomorrow. <laughs> Press I keep doing. I, I'm, happy, I, I'm happy to keep doing like half marathons. Let's talk about dad and his fucking injury. Batman. Yeah, let's talk about Batman. <laughs> yeah, so I'm running it with my, my with my Bat usual Dan. race partner Dan. Yeah. Race partner. It sounds really weird, doesn't it, you say that? My race yeah, partner. Makes, you make him sound black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not racist, is it? If it's I not it, racist. If I, if I call him my race partner. <laughs> if he's my race he's partner. My of he's race. my partner of race. He's you. my friend of race. Um, <laughs> In the race. <laughs> Yeah, Stan's running with me. Uh, he has sustained an injury recently and pulled out the race, but now has decided to run the race. Uh, we'll God, see if he makes the whole right. thing. If he does make the whole race, we'll see. If he doesn't, fair play. I'm hoping we can just help each other get through it. Yeah, man. Well, I was more nervous when I was running it on my own. Um, but I knew that for a fact. I'm still, not, I'm still, Dan still might turn around tomorrow and say he's not doing it, which, you know, I'd, I'd play fair enough. Go. Yeah, he'll do it. But we'll see how far he we get. Yeah, he jumped down. I love it. Yeah, it's amazing that he's like, I might run it. I'm not sure. And then he went and checked out the route and was like, Man, there's so many hills. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. But what I thought there was gonna be so many hills. I's not gonna do it. I was like, How is this? How have we, how has this come about? Not, not. He seems no. He seems okay though. Like I mean, I Dan's run a fair few. Yeah. Dan's run a few marathons. I he's think he, doing he, that man versus his... horse that isn't porn what? soon. Oh yeah. What? You know him talk about that. He's doing no. the man versus horse where you that go. Isn't porn. What is it? You what? You have to. <laughs> is it? Porn, is it? Two hundred men know. versus how many horses? And they like run <laughs> what down. They, what do you mean they're versus horses? <laughs> they they, 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 they race down a hill horses? or a mountain. A four hundred horse a, battle. No, there was a guy in Newcastle that got done for punching a horse. No, it's not violent. Oh, um, okay. No, you just outrun it. Is it next to the horses? Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how the route works, but well, like, no, but like, like you've got it's like two hundred men race a certain amount of horses then... down a hill or you've some got... shit. Is this, is this this is just the Gloucester cheese race, but they've changed cheese with horses. It's not quite as fun though. I swear it's the cheese race. I don't. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I can check. There was one year a guy won, but he broke his back, and whilst he was in the yeah, yeah, they stole his cheese. Someone stole the cheese, didn't they? That's terrible. That is sad, isn't it? Well, shit what a shitty mouth. world we live in. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, no need, no need. No. <laughs> right, man versus horse Hello. race. Every June, an unusual type of race takes place in a tiny town of... <laughs> Every, June. Every June. That's in Wales. They pit runners against horses and their riders for 24 miles as they climb 4,683 feet through the town's paths and trails. I thought you were running, I thought you were racing the horse down a hill, I mean, you were just racing them up a hill. Well, you just trip it up, couldn't you? you just fucking, fucking hell, I mean, there's, a, there, there's pictures, there's pictures, he's running next to a horse, someone's riding the horse and he's running alongside it. Cool, well I'm probably going to wrap this up, for, wrap this up. And then we'll no, reconvene. Just, do you think it could actually swing we'll, it out? Have we covered everything? We'll, yes, I think we'll wrap this up and then we'll yeah, reconvene tomorrow more, after I've hopefully finished no, a 26 marathon. 26 mile fucking gruelling ordeal. Yes. And I can, then, then this, I will, then tomorrow when we record, hopefully if I'm still standing, I can actually have a bit of a drink. Yes. Because obviously I'm not, I can't really be getting on the rum like everyone else is. Old Hop King. Joe is trialling some, as we mentioned, some Aldi. Old Hop King is our uh, spice choice.
Oh, yeah, it smells. Yeah, smells, 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 smells rummy. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, uh, I am drinking a copious amounts of it. Uh, Greg, yeah. I can only say all the best of luck to you. <laughs> Thank um, you. And we will be there cheering you on for sections of it. Excellent. Right, we'll reconvene tomorrow where hopefully I have completed such a task. So that was actually a tough night because you guys had a barbecue drinking rum having beers and I was like fuck man I gotta run a marathon we just tomorrow. we just threw like, all the fun in your face that night like, I was just like fuck I think I had a beer over the course of the evening but I was just <laughs> like the next day when we got to the run Dan was like did you have any beers last night I was like I had half a beer yeah. and he's like I had three I was like, oh, that case. I, was like <laughs> I was like oh in that case I had one <laughs> I had a full can I wish I'd had more now knowing you have not that it makes it any easier for me no I don't think, and with with Dan's Dan's relentless running, I don't think you would have been able to do it on three beers. Mate. No, 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 I offense. Don't know. no I by all means, no. I, offense. Mate, I thought I was going to throw up all the way through at points. Like, I really <laughs> thought I was going to throw up. There were a few hairy moments I was like, I'm going to throw up. Even when I got in Stuart's car at the end, I was like, I might be sick. Yeah. Fuck so it. this this next bit was. Um, so we we saw Greg at two points during the race. Yes, it was an early. Well, I don't really know what happened between those moments, like because so. I mean, so, I, I, got, I jumped out the car like quite close to the place because it was traffic, and I just—I didn't even get to say bye no, to Lizzie. That I, kind I, of... I, I literally shouted bye and got out. Yeah, I didn't get—I didn't even get to kiss Lizzie or Indiana goodbye. I was just like, oh, it was traffic. Oh, I had to, yeah, yeah. I was just like, I gotta go. And I was like, fucking, hell, I didn't say goodbye. I remember, I remember us like kind of all just sort of shouting like things at you, not because yeah. we were angry, just yeah, because yeah. of like, like get out. Yeah, words of encouragement. Um, but we um, so after that we. Uh, we parked up. We we drove over to um, the. There was a, a point. You met uh, with Stuart, right? We met with Stuart, so who's Stuart, Dan's Dan's brother. We should explain. It's Dan's brother. So Dan, who I run with, Stuart's his brother that lives in Cumbria. He lives yeah. in the area. So he was kind of like the guide for the when, when me and Dan were running. Oh, yeah, he took us on a great. Walk. While me and Dan were running, he kind of looked after you guys as well, though, didn't he? Yeah, like absolutely. like kind of worked out the route. Like, we were here, like so you guys knew what the fuck to do rather than just stand around. After after we dropped you at the at the starting point, uh, he'd previous night he'd sort of said like you know all right we're gonna meet we'll, we'll meet here and this is a checkpoint of like yeah. mile four so you're like a little bit at the start in, yeah yeah so you're not completely in agony already and stuff um we sat down had a bit of breakfast sorry um <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> and uh and then we sort of waited until like it, it was it gradually you know some runners started coming through and people started clapping and all that sort of stuff but um, so we'd, we'd done it there. We went to the CLUR. And then after that, we drove over to a ferry point. Nice. And we got uh, we got on a ferry over to actual the Windermere Lake. Was that cool? Uh, yeah, it was actually cool because it was all on like a pool wire. No, wow. It was That's like cool. It wasn't just like all over the place. It was literally just like you can only go in one direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your purpose. Deal with it. And um, it was, yeah, it was pretty, it's literally like five minutes across the fucking cool. water. And then we got out, walked over to Windermere, and then we were at, at that point, that was mile 20. Right, yeah. And then we just kind of sort of held up. And the bit you're about to hear was us held up, waiting to see Dan and waiting to see Greg sort of come through. Actually, that's, yeah, that we say, yeah, this is, I, you guys have called it a lot. <laughs> I literally stood there for a bit and then I was like, fuck, I've got, the, I've got the microphone and I got I, I got the headphones out and I was just like, all right, well, maybe I'll just, I'll I'll do a test and I'll I'll just sort of record for a little bit, see how it sounds. And if it doesn't sound good, I won't bother. Yeah. yeah. Um, but instead, I just fucking went. Yeah. Because it was just, all right, this sounds, I because I could hear it perfectly in my headphones. I was like, this sounds good. It's changing when there's too much fucking noise because yep. I did it on like auto enhance or whatever. And I just and we just went for it. Like there's, I think the first recording was like literally thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah. Just constant. Like. So I've cut it down into this is like a three four minute segment, a little like best of of some of the conversation that was happening between you, Ed, Stuart, Sarah, and Lizzie were there. Yeah. Why why you're waiting for me and Dan to hit mile twenty? Oh, it was so funny. Hi listeners, us again, just interrupting ourselves to quickly remind you of the last your last chance to make well, the most weird. make the, your last chance to make the most of this studio headphone offer. Yes, this, this is a limited time offer. Limited time only. They're all seeing all caps on their website. 15% off your order. Do we have to get order. the headphones back? No, <laughs> you can have the headphones. That would be weird. You can keep hold of the headphones. If you could send those back to us. I've got rid of all the packaging. They know what they're doing. So they're all Scandinavians. They know exactly what they're doing. And they oh, are the sweet. They, I mean, and, and look at it. Look they got. H&M, yeah. Ikea. They're well known for their design. Exactly. <laughs> and then these headphones are no fucking exception. All seeing guys, all caps, 15% off your first order. Right, let's get all back seeing. to... All seeing, all seeing. All seeing, let's get back to the show. 
Prince. Over to you, Greg and Cho. I don't think it's in the recording, but I think there was at one point there was this like there was this sort of like fattish bloke walking towards us in like a Burnley FC like football right, shirt, yeah. and he's wearing a football shirt and shorts. And I think like either Ed or uh, Stuart, or maybe even both of them at the same time, turned and was just like, "Should we clap this guy?" And they just started clapping him, and then he sort of turned and was just like, "I'm not in this." <laughs> <laughs> like we know, we know, we're just clapping you because you. Good Bernie shirt. Yeah. Go on, so, Burnley. Let's see what the guys got up to while me and Dan were dying on a route around Lake Windermere. Getting ready. What's the uh, what's the snack situation? Oh, well, I've got a fucking I've got a cinnamon roll. Oh nice. I've got four little pancakes. Got a little uh, hummus sandwich. Well, he's already had a Snickers, isn't he? And no, uh, I've got four more of those. Oh, four more. Okay. Four more but he said it was going to come and put his order in advance, but. I don't know if the kitchen's going to be ready, like, if he didn't nah. phone it through, like... Nah, that's it. I mean, I've got an app and everything, but he's not even bothering his... Unbel- unbelievable. What a cunt. You've uh, joined us here for the uh, Windermere Marathon, and uh, there is currently a bus uh, in the way of the marathon. Uh, it's out of the way now. He's not um, having fun. She ain't having fun, it's 631. <laughs> We're also playing oh, no, uh, marathon there, bingo. Go on, you got this. Like fuck off, mate. <laughs> she looked like she was in agony. Still alive, one nine five. Very good, guys. Very right, good. Keep it going. Great job. Don't hit the floor. Seven nine four. Ed, how, uh, how, how far do you reckon you could run? I oh, run to the shop, get some beer. That's not a bad idea. You want to do that now? All right, on, guys. Job. 69! Yeah. Woo! Come on, guys, doing well. 846, someone get him a Twix. <laughs> well done, man, well done. I think Dan's within a mile now. All right. There's not just one running style, is there? I mean, look at this guy. Loving life. Oh, everyone gets Go on, my there. man. It's only your knees get about well really. well it. Well done, well done. Well done. Keep it going, Keep it up. Well done. Should we just shout the word encouragement? Encouragement! Encouragement! Well, Encouragement! But what's what's the chap alternative for a lady? For a, what's a female what's a female chap? Well done, mate. Chap pet? But no, it just seems cheap, doesn't That's it? I feel like they should shit, have their own their own like saying. What? No, like what's the what's the female version of a chap? Lady. I don't know, it just feels a yeah, bit... but if it's a singular, it feel a bit... you're like, well done, lady. That sounds derogatory. Yeah. Yeah, but would you... I think See, this is why the blokes weird. can't ever win, because it's an absolute minefield. It's true. There's all oh, sorts no, of turns and cul-de-sacs. you ruined all the fucking words. That's why. If you hadn't what? done this for the last century, the words would all still well, be... We could oh, I, feel like, I felt like you were attacking Stuart there. Come on, Stuart. I got a little bit... A little <laughs> got bit really away. into it. Well done, mate. Looking good. All the best, man. All the best. Board of clapping, yeah. Yeah, oh, I suppose no, we do. Okay, Encouragement. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Encouragement. A bit of blue. Keep it up, Dean. Great. Well done, well, well done. done. I think it's okay to collectively call a group of women ladies. I think that's quite, like... That's all right. Um, I think that's quite chivalrous. Um, but I think just going, oi, lady. Yeah, oi, lady. Well, uh, madam. madam. Is it madam? Job. Madam. Madam. Oh, you pretentious Well fuck. done, madam. Yeah. You fucking mad at me? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, not mad. I'm not mad at you. Tracked up. 34. All right. Well, early guys, on. You got good. your number early. 666. Oh, the number of the beast. Well, <laughs> so uh, me and Ed, uh, we, we, we decided that we were going to shout out possible song titles. And unfortunately, we've just basically just called a woman a beast. Is what we've done. Well, she's got the number of the. Bus, yeah, she, I'm sure she knows, but I don't know if she's an Iron Maiden fan. Is the problem? Well, who is it? You. Yes. Who was that asshole? Very old joke. Yeah. Was a little child. Was a month old. Still an asshole. Sounded like you guys. Sounded like you guys had a hell of a time. <laughs> it was great. I had, I had the most fun. I'm glad there's Stu getting involved. That sounded like a lot of fun. Stu was so fucking easy just to like have the microphone in front of. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It was just so fucking fun. Because yeah. as well, like he was genuinely being encouraging. <laughs> when he picked me up afterwards, it was like, mate, we've recorded. Like, I don't know how much there is, but it's just nonsense. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's nonstop. Like, it's just, <laughs> I don't know if there's anything usable in there. <laughs> 
<laughs> the fact that he said that should have filled you with confidence. Oh, it did. Like, I was, there I was is absolutely ju- everything. I was just like, this is going to be tough to edit this one because I bet there's so much I want to use. <laughs> and there fucking was as well. Yeah, man. We were just like, look, we're going to be here a while. We might as well have some fun with this. So like, yeah, we came up with, yeah, like the numbers, like like the marathon number, bingo, like just anything that we like could that would just, but also at the same time, like genuinely you'd see someone like really fucking struggle and you were just like, nah, man, you got to like, you yeah. got to give this guy some, like, some, help. some positive, it's like positivity. Like it was so surreal for me because like, I've always known it, but I kind of forgot that I used to go to Lake District all the time as a kid. Like, oh, really? I always go as a kid. That's where I almost drowned in the cow ship. Ah. Uh, that's the friend's farm. So when I was up there, I mean, like, oh, when I used to go, I used to go with my mum, my dad, my auntie, my uncle. My, like, it was like friend, it was mom, pa- friends of my parents yeah. that were like my aunties, uncles, and my cousins. Like uh, the, we, fake, like, the fake aunt Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and so, so like, but I think my, my grandmother, my grandma, my auntie was my godmother, so... You know, we're all pretty close. We used to go to the just together. It was so surreal when I was away and she messaged me, my auntie Anne, and was just like, oh, where about some Windermere right in the Lake are you? And I was like, oh, we're at Windermere. And she's like, oh, we would see you there all the time as a kid on the boats. Yeah. And I replied, being like, man, Indiana got to go on a boat today. Like, yeah, it's awesome, man. <laughs> like, and it was just like, fuck, like, just history repeating yourself now going there with yeah, my yeah, friends. Yeah. Like, it's so surreal. Like, just to think, like, I didn't really, it hit me like on the Monday we were there because everything before was just like marathon, marathon, marathon. And the next day, that Monday, it was like, oh, really? I just took it in for a second and was yeah. like, oh, man, I can actually, I'm here now. I have to watch stress about having to fucking freak out about running a marathon. I can actually just enjoy being here now. Yeah. That was a good feeling. I enjoyed that Monday out about. I can't wait for like when it's like sort of 30 years' time and you're looking back through those photos and you're sort of like, there's that, I think there was a picture of all of us on the boat. Uh, going yeah, over. it's a good picture. And uh, and we just, I think you'd you'd look at that in thirty years time, just like, oh, what was I wearing? It, oh. it looks like a postcard, like a souvenir postcard. Absolutely, you yeah. rode the ferry. It looks like a or like a fucking Evian advert. Or Evian, like, and it's you know, the water. Just like everyone enjoys water. Everyone look at this group water. of people enjoy water. <laughs> they're right there. They're, they're, they're on a boat in it. Going across Lake Windermere in the fucking lake they're of the water. In the lake of the. Funny enough, considering this marathon was around Lake Windermere, I didn't see much of the lake. Nah, there's a lot of, lot of uh, trees and shit. In Mate, there. It, yeah, I knew up high at points, so you, occasionally you got snippets between trees, but yeah. it was still a fucking amazing fucking route. Very fucking serene. But the, that's that's not where these recordings end, is it, Greg? No, Greg. No. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Finally it happened. Greg talks to you. He's, he's let the secret out. <laughs> I am literally a figment of Greg's imagination. That everyone can hear. It's amazing. It works well, out really well. It's like the hormone monster I'm from just, Big yeah, Mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just picturing you. I'm just sat I'm in the, the bad room. things that Greg wishes he could say. <laughs> no, that, that isn't where the recording's end. Because going back to the same group of people, in the exact same spot is now where you encounter Dan. Dan. And me. During oh, this is mile this was 20. At mile twenty. It's mile twenty. Me and Dan lost each other eight miles in. So you say lost. Well, I fell behind eight, <laughs> eight miles in. As you'll hear, I'll talk about later on. Um but so you guys had to wait between us. So this yeah. is Dan arriving and then waiting and then around you... for me to show up. And you had Dan had the tracker, like they knew where he was. Like we weren't that sensible. We well just... no, we kind of I, I mean, yeah, Stu had uh, Stu had Dan on his phone like tracked yeah. and um, obviously, we we were still under the assumption that you two were together. It's like they're coming up. So then we saw Dan, and then it was just like I think also there might have been like some messi- there might have been some messaging. Yeah, yeah. During, and uh, I think they're just like okay, so they're not going to be together. And then we saw Dan, and then it was just like okay, well Greg's probably not like like too far off, but it, it wasn't. I mean, like fuck that shit. It's not like oh yeah, I was like yeah. I mean, it was like what half like a hour. half hour difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's good first marathon. Anyway, let's first see what, marathon, man. Let's fuck see it. what happened. Why this was why me and Dan were approaching mile 20 and yeah, then indeed. arrive. Come on, Dan, we're all waiting, mate. You're gonna run along, yeah. I'll get, yeah, I'll get a word in with Dan. Just gotta give him a starting point. I'll have to do it like a relay, so I'm gonna start uh, running before he's done. On oh, top of the hill, oh, yeah, that's Dan. Yeah. He's just coming down. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well done, guys. Back well done, guys. How you doing, man? You right? Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of my body is as painful as my leg now, so it's just, oh, it's just even down. <laughs> you got the cake. Putting your order. He's literally putting his order in. Come on, man. Just, yeah. Yeah. Well done, man. All the best. Keep it going. 
Where's my fucking cinnamon roll? <laughs> <laughs> Have you got the cake? The needs of America. The speed you got it out yeah. there was great. Well done, Stu. Hit crew. Yeah. <laughs> so now we now we try and figure out where Greg is. Where the fuck is Greg? We play the game. It's a fair old. Too bad the sun's not out. We'd see it gleaming off his head. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, guys. Well done. Well you know what it feels like? It feels like I'm waiting for my drug dealer to turn up. Very well. There's less clapping. <laughs> this is what you do, waiting for. Woo! My weed. You got my weed? Yeah. Well, does this inspire you to take up marathoning? Does, does it fuck, mate? Cool? Have you seen how many? We've just watched like 50 people go past, yeah. exhausted. Yeah. Apparently, Greg has saved the lives of eight people on the way. He did, yeah. We, uh, Greg updated us along the way. Uh, he helped a woman get into the ambulance. Maybe that's why he's so far behind. And um, he, uh, he said that two, two other people, I think, find out. He's doing well. See, Greg's, Greg's, Greg's running a marathon and helping people at the same time. Yeah. See, I mean, he referred to all of us as lads. Is that sexist? I don't know. It's weird. Identify as a woman. It's, it's weird up here, isn't it? <laughs> Johnny, 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 down. Go on, bro. How you doing? How you doing? You alright? Oh. Is that alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw him a little bit. Quick word, Greg. Quick word. How you feeling? Fuck my leg eight miles in. I'm really not pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets me every time. It's so good. Because I had stuff, I was like, at that point, I was like, I was literally running alongside you, but then it got to the point where I was like, I'm slowing him down, so I'm going to stop running, but you just hadn't stopped talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was so, like, out of it at that point. I was just, I didn't really know what the fuck to say. Like, I think you, the immediately, like, I don't really of, remember that You sort all. of stopped and you were just like, you'd, like, Lizzie was trying to, like, like, she held out her hands of, like, stuff that she had for you. <laughs> and I think it was like, you had, like, some scotch eggs and there was, like, an energy bar. Yeah. And you just went, I don't want that, I want this. <laughs> and it's just, oh, God. <laughs> I listened back to it and I just like the desperation just made me laugh. Just like, I don't want that, I want this. <laughs> I don't want the Scotch eggs. <laughs> I don't want the Scotch eggs, I want the gel. So the idea was I'd given Lizzie like five or six gels. Yeah. Like you just fucking literally like rip the top off this packet. Like a like a fruit, like the yogurt, but it's not like yogurt, it's a no. gel. And like in the different flavours, like take those. And I gave Lizzie a load and Dan was only had a few. And I messaged her before we saw the first point, being like, give me all the gels <laughs> and my headphones I need the gels I was like fuck it I'll use my headphones even though you can't use headphones I'll take my headphones and just not wear them on the roads I messaged me like give me my headphones and all my gels and Lizzie obviously didn't get this text <laughs> and when I ran past and couldn't really stop she, she, I saw her hold her hand down and I was like yes and she gave me like one gel <laughs> like, and I kind of like grabbed it and was just like what oh like, and then just kept going and then when I saw <laughs> <laughs> at the second point like 17 <laughs> miles later yeah well, I was like this is going to give me all these gels like, I've literally like like managed to space the ones I had out like yeah. when I really couldn't fucking move so I could gel like, a bit more energy and I got to 20 miles in and she handed me one again <laughs> <laughs> it's like damn it I don't want the scotch egg. I'm going to die. I wanted all the gels. I was going to eat all six of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally going to smash them into my own face. I was just going to squunch them up into a ball and just shove them up my ass while I ran. <laughs> and then just be like, and shoot off like Maniac the runs 26 miles while sticking <laughs> energy bars up his ass. Runs 40 fucking miles, doesn't stop, keeps going. Eventually he comes down and he's found quivering in a It's tree. in my blood system. I am in trouble. He's found in a tree that was impossible to climb. When asked how he got there, he claimed he ran up there. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways. Yeah. Like, like the old Batman like Billy TV. Wh Billy Whiz from the Beano. Like, like, no, like the, old, uh, the old Batman TV show when they're like climbing up climbing a building. Climbing up a building, but I'm like running up there. <laughs> and they fall asleep instantly. Yeah. So um, from there, obviously that was that was the last time we saw you, and then we we were parking up, and then we saw you at the finishing line. But then you drove past, didn't you? We drove past, and it yeah. was just like we really wanted to be there for the uh, for you to finish, but it was just like the traffic rolled around there was yeah, fucking it was mental. Crazy. We it had to mental. find a, somewhere to park and everything. Obviously, Indiana was there and stuff. Yeah, yeah but crazy. like we just we saw you and we were just like, oh, he's so fucking close to the end, and it's just like bollocks. I and hurt then, so much when I saw you guys. Fuck, yeah, man. man. We would. I, I think all of us were like, but not all of us felt like a bit. Bummed out that we weren't there to just yeah, fucking yeah. like be that like be the like the, just the cheer that you need yeah, at the yeah, end yeah. of it like 
But yeah, um, I, I ran. I literally had just been walking, and there was a water station just behind where you guys drove past me. Yeah, and they had me a bottle of water, and I think I downed like three quarters of it. Yeah, and I sprinkled loads over my face. Yeah, and I threw it in the bin as I got to that point. Walked, and I literally was like, right. Time to run the last bit. And I, just as I took my first step, you guys rode past and beeped. Oh, I man. I literally just started running again. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, no, I think by the, we'd, like, it didn't look like you'd slowed down. You were still going at like a pace. So it yeah, just, like, I just set me. Up. Like, yeah, that was horrible. There was a long road to that point. Yeah, dude. I a bet. long road with no pavement. Nah. <laughs> but, we, uh, but we did after, after finishing and after chilling out and everything. And after I mean, some... yeah, like, so Dan came back. To Dan and Stu came back. So when I and finished, Stuart was there to pick me up. He took me and Dan back to our Airbnb where everyone was. Yeah. So I got to say hello to everyone. I literally sat down, had a beer, which took me two hours to drink because I was so busy. I mean, yeah, no, I was getting ready yeah, stuff. Course, man. And then eventually, that later on, you made pizza that night. Stuart and Dan were there. It was fucking awesome. That was great fun. Yeah, I was happy to feed. Yeah, that was really good. And then we sat down and later on in the evening, me, you, and Ed, where it was all chilled. It was later in the evening. It was it, nice because it, yeah, it, yeah, like, it was like, nice it was just like the sun had gone. Like yeah. it was like sun was down, but it was still a little bit light, but it was getting darker by the minute. Like, but it yeah. was just fucking chill. It was nice and like, like still warm. Yeah. I was, I was very comfortable. I, I was so tired, but I had so much energy. I was like, the adrenaline was insane. So I couldn't really sleep. I can believe it, man. So I was so happy to sit there. I mean, I do sound pretty tired in this next clip, but this is the <laughs> last clip. And this is where we sit down the evening of the marathon and I have a conversation. And Joe does great, great interviewing questions here. Cheers, Very man. Good. Thank you. You should have your own interview chat show. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll look into that in the future. I'll be the next Graham Norton, but without the, <laughs> the gay sex. I'll be safe out the <laughs> But maybe that's, uh, I think, yeah, we should play out. We should yeah. play out with this, yeah? Yes, yeah, of course. This is, so this is our last, this was, this was post-marathon It's a nice note to go out on because we really wrap it, even though we end this clip with being like, back to Greg and Joe. No. I think, no, the thing is like- It won't I, be back to I, us. I, because it wasn't like, I don't think people were expecting us to be like, so much crazy shit happened whilst we were away. Yeah, yeah. Because we went there for a reason. And yeah. that's the that's what we're presenting to everyone. The yeah. reason was we went there for a marathon. So why 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 would we not cover that? Yeah, and I couldn't get fucked up and be crazy. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> Although, it was just like... Briefly was... mentioned earlier, which I want to quickly raise if we go into this clip, is that, yeah, you said Stuart took us on that walk. We did go on that. Where was that? Gummers Hill or something? I think that's right, Home? yeah. That was fucking cool. Like oh that, we saw we saw a fucking snake we saw a baby adder wasn't it yeah man on the stairwell and I climbed up this thing with fucking Indiana strapped to my chest yeah he did <laughs> and and everyone uh, was so nervous I was gonna fall down the rocks I remember then we got to that one bit where it was all kind of like it was uh, a point of like sort of flat but there was just like uh, like a steepness of yeah. the of the mountain but it looked like there was a way up yeah and I was like is anyone does anyone want to climb this like go up this way. And I didn't look around, but I heard someone say, I will. And I looked around, it's fucking Dan. Dan, of course it is. Dan, of all people, was just like, I'll fucking do that. So me and him went up the... the and it was in flip-flops. I had a bad ankle. Yeah, flip-flops and you a heard fucking the like, ankle clip. strap on. Like, And uh, at one point, like we got to the, we got over the big jagged rock fucking bit. And then we got to the other side and there was a bit of a jump down. He fucking jumped down and like landed like weak foot first. It's crazy. Like, it was great. And then he ran a marathon. The and then he day. ran a marathon. That guy that is was awesome, inhumane. That, that was awesome. Like, getting to the top of there was cool. Unhuman just, is the word. Everyone I was, was so for. panicked about me having carry Indiana up and down there. Ed was literally like, can I go in front? Like, I'm really nervous. Yeah, like, yeah, man. No, him. fair play, though. But it like, was fine. It, it, it was absolutely fine. Yeah, it was great. There was one point on the way back where I saw another guy walking in with his kid in one of those, and their yeah. kid was a lot younger. And he looked at me and kind of gave me the nod off. Do you do that now? Is this okay? And I was like, no. You got, <laughs> you got this, kid. <laughs> I was just like, no, mate, you don't know what you're in for. Maybe you do. Maybe you come over is it a thing sometimes not always I wouldn't not even in Kingston you don't nod over dads because there's fucking loads of you yeah that's true but in that situation because we, I think it's, it's because we both had the strap thing on an unspoken law between yeah, dads I think it's because we both had you know, our babies in the fucking I like the idea chest. that the, the children think that they are uh, in charge of the robot that's carrying yeah, yeah, them yeah, like and the, they're just like the I'm going to fight, I'm gonna fight this one over like here like Sigourney Weaver at the end of Alien that's what I want to see thing. I want to see that as a computer game where like you're a baby and the person your... the person that you control is your dad, but it's like a it's like dad fights. Kind of like Krang in his suit in turn. Exactly like Krang. But a baby with a babies parent. are basically Krang in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the baby with a, uh, the parent. I've been strapped yeah. around. 
Okay, so this the is wrapping, the, the wrapping things up. Let, yeah, let's go into this clip here where we uh, yeah have the uh, end of even conversation. And as Joe said, we're going to play out the episode of this one. Um, this is a new band. Uh... <laughs> yeah, this is a new band. They're called Conversations in Lake Windermere. Stavely, sorry, I apologise. The Conversations in Stavely. Yeah, it was actually Conversations of Stavely. Uh, Stavely. Nominated, nominated for Best Picture and at the course, Oscars, Oscars and the, next. Uh, and the offshoot Stavely sounds where nice ambience. No, not nice ambience. Uh, cows Stavely, mooing in fields. Stavely Studios as well. Stavely Stavely Studios and a nice spa that sometimes would be open. Delightful. <laughs> but we never know. This Guys, thank, th th thanks for listening. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, we are pretty much plowing our way through because we're going to record our episode celebrating three years of podcast. Time time is limited for us. So we, we are, make it fucking happen. We are going to You know go why? Because we've spent three years and we've never missed right. a fucking deadline. And we're going to go in. And it's good because I'm staying at Joe's tonight so we can fucking have a good old fucking time. I don't I'm mean so sexually. Glad. I'm so sounded, glad you finished that sentence. That sounded didn't sexually, end it on didn't fucking. It? Yes, it did sound like I was going. I mean, we there. are, but we are, but that's besides the point. That won't be audio, but you can buy that at the Patreon. No, <laughs> <laughs> and listen to it on your new studio Spons headphones. <laughs> don't, donate, donate money every year. Donate money so we bum each other. So we bum each other. Thanks for listening, guys. This is us talking about the marathon to play us out. Bye. See you next time. We'll see you guys. Stick around. You've joined us here on a lovely Sunday evening post marathon with uh, Greg Armstrong. How are you? I'm fine. I mean, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You all I'm right? Waist down, I'm not. No. No. How you doing? So you completed it, yeah? I finished. Well I done, did man. It. Did you I still get an erection? No, not right now. <laughs> Maybe. I hope it comes back. I'm just wondering where all the blood I had is. A, I had a few awkward, I had a <laughs> few all the blood gone? I had a few awkward ones on the run. <laughs> <laughs> the but you did say you lubed yourself up good. Oh, yeah, you had to, man. You don't want fucking bleeding nipples out there. So um, it was, yeah, 26 miles. That's a hell of an achievement. Two miles, and I got lost actually. Well, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't I didn't get lost, but I took a wrong. I didn't take a turning and was running through this like restaurant area. That's um, quite cool. And then realised what I was doing and had to come back. Well, we um, um, when so we parked up at the at the four mile spot, there was so twenty six point seven miles according to my running. Wow. Out. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> did an extra extra half mile. <laughs> well done, sir. <coughs> Yeah, Sorry, continue. Well, no, when we were, we, because we parked up at the four mile point to um, see you guys, and before you turned up, I guess it was runners from either the first runners coming through, yeah. but they were just cutting through the fucking alleyway. <laughs> like, they cut through. Like, I came out the co op and they were just like running past. I was just like, hmm, okay. Uh. Seems like an odd route. And then Stu had gone off and like found like the bollard caution I saw, but he sent me a picture, didn't he? That was funny. Like, yeah, you wrote no, back. I just like, see. thanks. I would have. I wouldn't have seen that. Yeah, there wasn't that many people when me and Dan passed you that we'd been running with previously. I think a load had just gone past. We didn't seem to be around us at the you time. You didn't take that long to get around that first bit. No, of course not. I was running a dance pace. Yeah, but we did you Dan's like start because you all walk up to the start. Yeah, you? when the time you hit the finish line, you instantly start so running. So you quite close to the front? Were no, we weren't that close no. to the front. No. Did you? Uh, did you feel? Like, to start with, it was all kind of like you were in a big group of people and then it spaced out. I didn't talk to anyone, really. Like, uh, yeah, it was, but it, it spaced out pretty quick. Um, I was just keeping... Dan was going quite fast, so I could up his pace for a while. He was like, oh, yeah, we'll do, like, nine minutes a mile. And I'm like, cool. And we actually kept that up for quite a while. Yeah. Like, I think we fell down to, like, ten and a half minutes not long after we... Uh, probably about seven, six, seven miles in. And that's when we ran up the hill at mile eight and my fucking back of my leg just fucking went, oh, I don't know yeah, what Yeah, you had a bit of an injury. It literally felt like somebody put, it's, if this makes sense, a hot ice cube in back of my calf. <laughs> oh, that's the only way I can describe but it. But deep heat. Sort of, but cold, but hot. Is it like, really you hurt. know when it's like a really cold ice cube and it's like, it, it sort Burns of sticks, almost. sticks to your skin a little yeah, bit? Yeah, it hurt. Like, it really hurt, but it felt hot. And fucking, I stopped and was like, fuck. And I tried to go and couldn't. And I saw Dan slow down. I was like, I just go, go. And then just fucking had a gel. Walked out the rest of this hell. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hell. <laughs> Walk 40, is hell. 40 and slip. Uh, <laughs> and I walked up the hill. And then I got running again. And I actually kept going. I remember you ran like an hour and 20 minutes without stopping. And then after that, I ran another <laughs> hour without stopping. I can run 60 seconds I got tired stopping. from clapping, man. Yeah, no, we both were exhausted from so, being really enthusiastic. So this, this app here breaks down my running and walking. You can't see this. So you can't see this, but here, all the pink is me running. So I ran like an hour and 18 minutes, walked for seven when I fucked my leg, yeah. and then did another hour. There's a lot of That's pink. Good. And then from there, then on, they started getting a bit of a mix. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 oh, but it, listeners, I wish you could see the no, mix. No, 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 no. But it would be like, run for 11 minutes, walk for four. But by, but by then, we're like... I've hit like Hill 20 City. miles. 
Hill City, I'm fucking, I've never run more than fucking like 16 miles maybe. And I fucking hit, hit 20 miles and was like, fuck. So like you sort of, yeah, so your, your experience previously has been like half marathons. Yeah. Did you like, did you I've try and, did you, <laughs> no, did you try and break down the marathon? So just uh, like, I try. all right, I've done half a marathon. Yeah, and that's absolutely. like, I've got one more half. Absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. break that down. That's like two quarter marathons. No, I didn't do that. I just, when I hit half, when I hit half marathon distance, I was kind of both like, fuck, I'm halfway. And fuck, I've just done half a marathon, and now I'm doing a full one. Like, we uh, were, like I've got to do that again. Whilst we were, like, yeah, no. Whilst we were spectating, we were sort of thinking of songs that we could sing. Like <laughs> when you went past, we came up with um, like a lot of running ones. <laughs> so it was like, I ran, I ran so far away. <laughs> and then it was, I think we we wanted to do something. Oh, I, it literally just came to my head then what we were going to sing to you. And I can't need, now. I can't remember. That was like twenty seconds ago. Oh damn it! Fucking hell! But yeah, we, we were drunk though. We were no. We had a beer. <laughs> we had one beer. Yeah, so right. So that was a nice hot day. Mm-hmm. I was fucking. It was fucking boiling out there. Mm. I was fucking warm. Yeah, it was hot. quite warm. I was fucking sweating, man. I had to like keep taking my hat off so the sweat on my head would just go cold. And I'd be like, oh, it's nice. Yep. And then it would get really cold. The hat goes back on. It would just be this horrible, sweaty, cold hat. And I'd be like, oh. <laughs> oh no, my lowest point of the whole race was that that eight mile break when my fucking leg went eight miles. That Is that when uh, your palms got sweaty? Yeah. Knees weak, arms True. were heavy. Vomit on yeah. your sweater yeah. already. <laughs> yeah, considering. I'm consider- but I was like, worried. when I hit that eight, I was just like, fuck, I've. I'm dying now, and I'm only eight miles in. Yeah, and I've got to do fucking twenty six. You brought it miles. on yourself, Greg. <laughs> Fuck, man. You paid for the pleasure. That was my lowest. No point. sympathy enthusiasm. That was my wall. <laughs> we, we, we were like, oh, you hit the wall at the end. I hit mine like eight miles in. Really? Oh, that was my. Yeah, but point. no, I mean that's not a wall. That's point. an injury, man. Like, yeah, that's not but a wall, I was like... also just like fuck. Like I'd feel fucked. I was. Yeah. But no, got past that. I got through that. Actually, it was quite a lot better after that. But damn, man, that was fucking horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I, see, I can see you now, man. Like miles, you're yeah. not like you, you. You're just sort of. You you look fine. Like you don't look like like you're gonna die. Yeah. Which is a great feeling because someone did die at a marathon recently. Yes. Yeah. Um. He but, was from here, so there was a lot of support out for him today. Yeah. Did you see a lot of people? Yeah, loads of people. There was signs. People had written it on the floor. Matt's name was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. There was signs. Finish. Hashtag finish for Matt. There was like people, kids are written in chalk for him on the floor. One. There point. was a girl near us with a giant fucking tub of like Harry bows. Yeah, yeah, they were they were on stools, like they were the stools, but they were like no, no, it was like a, it was these, it was uh, two little girls and a mum, right. and one and their dad was running. He yeah. when he ran past because we saw them going all mental. Yeah, yeah. So the thing that we took on was like if there's people nearby that are there to support people, let's support them as well. Yeah, so we, like yeah, if yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. we saw these people like when we were in the four mile point, there was the two cyclists. So like they they saw someone like their mate coming, so we were just like no fuck it, just like yeah, yeah and like, they clapped for you guys when you went past. Yeah, that oh, was good. it. It was really cool. Like it was it was like yeah, it was it was it was really fun actually. It was like, fun. Yeah, it, it was, was good. Fun. I, I would literally get to like you be running down an empty road, and all of a sudden you see a house coming up, and you'll get there, and there will be like a family in the doorway, like go on, you can do it. Yeah. And some of them who were they weren't like official water stations. They had water. There'd be a sign saying drinks ahead, and there would be like you're like. Oh, you're fucking what's the Cup word? of soup. Not, not <laughs> ele- ele- electrolytes. Electrolytes and a water. And sometimes they're like a mint cake or something. But then when you would pass these houses, some of them had their own fucking little stalls with um, cakes they'd made, Harry Bows, and their own water and jugs. And they yeah. were just giving it to you and they'd made all this food for you. And they weren't part of the actual marathon. <laughs> that's they really, were, they were, that's they really nice cool. Locals. I think that's uh, I think that's really yeah, It was really nice. It, really was, cool. it was really cool. It was a very friendly marathon. Yeah. It was no, I didn't count any dickheads. No. No, there was one guy, like a fucking this pikey looking family walking down the road, and their kid had a scooter, and they were taking up the whole pavement, and they were like, oh, fuck, where are all these people going past? And the kid slipped, and his scooter spun out, and it hit this guy running past in the shin. Oh, oh fuck, man. Oh. Like, he, he didn't fall Ow. over, but he jumped, and just kind of, he just, he just kept going, but I could oh. tell he fucking hurt himself. But the guy, the dad was like, oh, fucking watch where you're going. Well, like, of course that is. They're a bunch of fucking... And I ran past and he was like, fucking marathon. And I was like, oh, Why don't fuck you off. fuck off somewhere else then? <laughs> that was the only dickhead I saw. And it wasn't to me. No. Nah. Like, well, sort of. And it, it was this uh, unfortunate spectator. Yeah. Fucking cock. That was the only thing I saw. But, like, you know, I wasn't even running it. Well, I didn't see much of the lake, which would surprise me. <laughs> Lots of amazing scenery. Yeah. Lots of awesome fucking hills and shit and fucking... Well, not awesome hills. I actually fucking hated the hills for the record. But nice views, <laughs> nice views. Well, you views. thought it was dead flat, didn't you? Well, so I mean? down was down was like it's one of the flattest ones. Fucking, it's not. It's not. Nah. It's the same amount of hills. Got that wrong. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Absolutely got that wrong. You had to run it really, didn't you? After that. Yeah. He was like, well, I can't tell Greg that and then not run it. 
I thought that was going to... Yeah, so Dan, who I ran with, injured himself and was like, I'm not, I can't run. And his legs were strapped up and he was a picture of him with a crutch. And he's like, I can't run, I fuck my... And he had, he had fucked his ankle. Yeah, it was bad. But he stupidly... Well, he said it was stupidly like... Stupidly and heroically, still, it's heroically. He said, still, though, like when, like, when we went for the walk, he said that it was like... Because it was the front ligament and when you're running, it's more like the back ligament. If his back ligament had gone, it'd be, he'd be yeah. no chance. But, like, because it was the front one, it's like there's not as much pressure. Yeah. But he did it and he fucking did it faster than me. Anyway, hey, well, you you know, Good you stopped to uh, you you stopped to help a lady get in an ambulance. Well, so yeah, I only had to hold her for a second <laughs> while the marshal was busy attending to another guy. Again, that was the only real pain I saw people in. Humble Greg Armstrong. I saw I saw that woman who I had to hold for a second while the marshal hit helped another guy, but the ambulance came thirty seconds later, and then I carried on. What was, he, what was the woman who got out of the car? What was that one? You saw a woman get out of the car and just blow oh chunks everywhere. Oh my god, fuck. This is after the race. <laughs> well, I, and I feel this one because I thought I was going to throw up a couple of times on this run. On the way back in the car, I'm with Dan and his brother's driving Stu. And we're just queuing out of the town through the traffic, kind of slow crawling. And the car in front, this woman who, who had been running, she still had a number on the stuff. She got out the car and just fucking started throwing up all over the floor. <sighs> Like on the side of the road, but it was like outside like a hotel or restaurant. Oh, quite a nice. nice looking one. And Stuart was like, fuck, this woman's run her vomiting. And we proper, looked. And proper I, blowing and chunks. I, I, and I couldn't see till we drove past the sick. I just saw her. But Dan looked out there and was like, oh, it looks like she had a hamburger. <laughs> so I reckon she'd finished the They sold hamburgers there afterwards. Yeah. I reckon she'd finished what, the run. and watch people throw up. Probably. I reckon she'd finished the run, Sorry. bought a hamburger, ate it. and then. But the guy, that, that the car she got out of, he just fucked off. So what, no, but this is the thing that I don't understand. Was it, what, like a Marshall car? Or no, was no, it like, no, 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 someone she'd been picked up after the race. Was, was it taken, a cab? I don't did think so. Did he she got out? Sorry? He couldn't have known Yeah, he did, because she was there for a while. Like, the door was open, there was traffic. Was right, right. And then he just drove off. That's so and, weird. But though, he could have, like, pulled in, there was a road. Maybe he and went Stu's, to, like, park? Stu, well, they could have, right there on the left, he could have parked. And she was like, oh, you can pull in here. Like, he, and he just, but he just sped off and went, and just went along with the clear roads. It was ahead fucking of us. Hell. It was ahead of us for a while. Like, Jesus. Fucking, fucking just left her, man. I don't know Holy if he was shit. even if he was a cabbie. Fuck, man. Holy shit! Like I don't know if it was another guy who finished his race, mate. I felt sorry for this guy. The car came out as we were leaving, and we just had the back tire explode. No way! And we was like, "Fuck!" And the, cut the wheel, the tire just burst. Jesus. How fucking weird! And that? it was like, Shh, and you heard it, and the guy got out who had run the fucking marathon. Got out and just looked at the wheel and was like, fuck, like Jesus Oh, Christ. no, he was driving. He wasn't driving, he got like the passenger. But still, man. Oh. He had no shoes That's and socks on, just got out oh, yeah. and just like, fuck, the last thing you want to happen, man. That is hideous. I mean, probably the last thing you want to happen after a marathon, but one off. Oh, no, I mean, a heart thing. attack is probably the last yeah, thing you want to happen. Yeah, many other, many happen. things. Damn, man. But no, it was good. I did it. It was horrible. Well, I say it was. It was good. It was a good experience. I'm happy I've done it. Yeah, it's not so to be enjoyable. So fucking relieved. It's over. I can actually relax a bit now. Yeah, but man. It, but it was hard. It was fucking horrendous. It of was course. the hardest thing I've ever done, <laughs> mate. No, but you've fucking done it though. Yeah. And that's a hell of a cradling my medal right now. Yeah. I, d- I, I you can hear it. Medal. I I say congratulations. Solid to aluminium. You, man. Thank you. Honestly, you. I did it five yeah, and a half yeah. hours. I did it five hours thirty three minutes. By the way. Hell of an achievement. I was aiming for five and a half or hopefully under six, just as like next one, anything after six. But yeah, five hours, 33, I was happy. No, you didn't, you done great, good. man. I never want to, I don't want to run another one again. Well, you probably heard a really hectic episode because everyone's been drunk. A lot, but last night we recorded, everyone was drunk. Oh, the middle, the middle section. The middle bit's going to be louder, Rowdy. And now we're all just like, yeah, man, I'm in the middle. I actually feel like I'm on BBC Sport. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, you know, touch and go for a second. Greg there, Armstrong you know? all wrapped up in tinfoil. <laughs> yeah, no tinfoil. Yeah. I was hoping. None of that. None no, of that. No, good not job, given. man. Good job. Honestly, yeah, yeah, I fucking yeah, man. Well and done. I extend my thanks to Ed for feathering everyone around. That's well done, right. and to Joe for it's making pizza the and pleasure. looking after the key. <laughs> I did, yeah. That was my two things to do this weekend, and I fucking achieved it. Yeah, and good job. He's got a lighter on him as well. I've cooked the key into I've the pizza bun steak. I can honestly tell you, I don't know where the key is currently. So thanks, listeners. I'm really fucking knackered, so we're gonna. That's, uh, that's really knackered Greg Armstrong I'm sure I'll tell you some more interesting funny stories uh, in a later episode or maybe straight after this clip when, yeah, when, we, when, we, when we're recording the intro and outro <laughs> yeah. the All Seeing Guys podcast is part of Podnose the UK's leading independent entertainment podcasting network 
for episode archives of the All Seeing Guys and all of the shows on the network, visit us at www.podnose.com. You can also follow us on Twitter via at Podnose or send us an email via admin at podnose.com. 